Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we are joined by Eric Koslow, who is the Senior Director of Product Management at Azul. Azul makes a quick Java virtual machine that is a drop-in replacement to run Java applications. Eric joins us today to tell us more about Azul and an exciting new solution the company is launching. Thank you for coming along, Eric, and welcome to the Jam. Thanks a lot. Nice to be here. So for those new to Azul, could you please introduce the company and tell us a bit more about what you do? Sure. So Azul has been around for about 20 years, and we create a fully compatible drop-in replacement to any Java virtual machine that a company is using today that helps them uh, run their applications significantly faster by improving performance at lower cost because you pay by compute. And now we're really excited to be branching out into the field of helping people make applications a little bit more secure. Awesome. And what does Azul offer to enterprises in Asia Pacific? And what are the kind of business challenges that you address? Right. So one of the challenges that's facing every organization today worldwide, and um, the Monetary Authority of Singapore is one of the driving forces over in Asia Pacific, is the role of knowing what software you have uh, having an inventory and where that software may be vulnerable. So with the proliferation of software and the whole software is eating the world from about the last decade, we have a lot of applications that are just very widely deployed. And when a small component or a library in that application becomes vulnerable, it puts that organization at risk of being hacked and having their data compromised. So now by helping organizations track where they run Java applications and what's in those Java applications, we can show you where you're vulnerable. Awesome. And you're here today to tell us about Azul's new solution launch. Um, what can you tell us? Uh, Azul Vulnerability Detection is a way that a company can run their Java applications and by running the application without additional work, get some security testing by just listing what the components are that make up that software. So instead of having to scan everything or create these pipeline gates where you monitor everything before deployment, we give organizations the opportunity to use their runtime environment at production speed to build that inventory and know where they use vulnerable components without having to scan everything because there are many paths to production. And it's great if a company is uh, evaluating security in a CI CD pipeline. It's great if you're doing container scanning, but what we give is that final production verification for any workload in production to help you know if that workload is vulnerable. And is this offering a response to a trend? Is there a gap in the market that Azul is looking to fill? Right. So the trend in the overall market is the concept of software composition analysis. One of the things in the security industry is the creation of SBOMs. That is a software bill of materials or something that helps you know what software makes up your application. So that's the overall industry trend. But the gap that we're looking to fill is the ability to do that in production workloads. Because every other firm that addresses composition analysis does it at a particular gated control. They do it in your build pipelines. They do it in your container scans. So they miss the components that you download, like Apache Kafka, Cassandra, or infrastructure components. And they miss the deployment of virtual machines. So by operating in production, wherever the workload runs, we get you that final gap of knowing what is in that piece of software and if it's vulnerable. And why does Azul consider this solution a game changer for Java? Right. So the Java security model um, has been largely outdated for uh, about uh, over a decade now, where they had a, a component called the security manager that was present and actually is now deprecated as part of OpenJDK. So what we've really done is we've taken a learning from the threat model of about the last 15 to 20 years in terms of how applications are attacked in modern cloud environments and enterprises. And we're moving again to make the JVM do that rather than a bolt-on security product that's constantly engaging every product project or an application from the outside. So by taking the security learnings and put it 
putting it into the JVM, we make it possible for teams to do it significantly easier than anything that they do today for wherever they run these Java applications. And what threats do developers using Java software need to look out for? So the main thing that uh, Java developers should be looking out for is to pay attention to what their software is actually doing, because the role of security is extremely broad and it can mean a lot of different things. So if you go and get a security expert, they can talk to you at a significant duration about a lot of things. But if you stay focused on what your application does and what your libraries are set to accomplish, now you filtered the broader attack surface of there's a lot of risk down directly to the application and you've made it a lot more pertinent for that individual user or that individual developer. So for example, I should still worry about log4j if I'm using a vulnerable version of log4j. But if I've already patched, it's not really a threat to me. It's nice to know about. So by staying focused on what your application does, essentially using the runtime to build the threat model, it makes it a lot easier for you to get actionable information and good uh, make good use of your time. Fantastic. It has been great to hear more about Azul and the fantastic new offering that you have. Thank you so much for joining us on The Jam, Eric. We look forward to hearing more soon. All right. Thank you very much for the time.